Hello YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you watch me from. I love that you're watching and thank you for all your support. Hello, my name is Lottie. Um, I did have a little thing planned for the beginning of the video, but the part I needed, well actually part of a Halloween costume, that's right, Halloween is this weekend. I've got lots, I've got quite a few plans for it which I cannot wait for. Yeah, no, a part of my costume didn't arrive today. Hopefully it will arrive tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> so well, we won't be doing the claw thing. Yeah, claw, yeah. I'm dressing up as Freddy Krueger part for part of this weekend. I bought my red and black top on the Saturday, which is in my cupboard. I might attack it later for the claw marks across the... Thing. But yeah, anyway, sort of made this as a little Halloween special today. Um, yeah, I understand I'm not dressed for the occasion. For those who are thinking otherwise, rude. But yeah, um, Halloween is pers one of my personal favourite times of year. I, I don't know what it is about it. I think getting spooked out because uh, I, I love all that kind of sort of horror, um, gothic stuff. And this time, and and it's like this time of year. It's sort of acceptable to bring that inner doppelganger out. I don't know what it is, and it's quite liberating. So I'm looking. Halloween is one of my personal favourite part times of year, and get getting to dress up. I mean, I love to dress up. I find any excuse to just dress up. So yeah, and wearing a pirate wench outfit should be more acceptable, you know. So. What have I got planned for this Halloween? Um, well, I am this Thursday. I am watching uh, Vampires Rock: The Ghost Train at the Basingstoke at the Basingstoke Canville in, well, Basingstoke, um, with my sister, and we're gonna try and look vampiric for that. I no, I still don't know what I'm wearing for that. And then Friday, I'm heading up to London for a ha for this really big Halloween party they hold there. It's called Voodoo. I went last year. It was absolutely amazing. Can't wait for it again this year. I mean, it's Voodoo's huge. Uh, if you still want tickets, uh, the advance have sold out. But get down there nice and early to make sure you don't miss out. It is a really good Halloween party. You know, the whole club. It has. Ball, it has ball pools and bouncy castles and a barbecue. I mean, what is not what's not to like about that? And also, we have um, some bands playing there. A uh, fight starter headlining that should be really good to see. And uh, my fa one of my favourite bands, Jet Black, are playing too. So that'd be really awesome to watch. It'd be great to see Halloween. So yeah, Halloween this Friday. I'm looking forward to that. And then. On the Saturday, I am heading to Brighton for a po their Apocalypse Halloween party. Apocalypse, I went to actually at the beginning of this month when I was down for Mammoth Fest uh, for their pirate party, and I had the best time ever. I mean, they played some nostalgic pop punk songs like Stacy's Mum, the If in Heaven I Can Skate, and Green to Edge, like lots of nostalgic pop songs that made me feel like I was 13 again, so that was great. And they had video games in there. I mean, Again, what's not to like? And you get to dress up. So parts of my costume are on their way. I've had emails through to say, yep, yeah, they've been dispatched and they'll be with you tomorrow or they'll be with you soon. So those parts are extremely exciting. And yeah, um, but I understand for those of you who don't want to go out on Halloween or aren't going out on Halloween, I'm sure uh, there is some films you can watch for this holiday. Um, like, I think, get the old school horror films out, which I am seriously getting into right now. Uh, my favourite one being so far, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I was going to go as Freddy Krueger, thanks to the help of my sister, because I was having trouble deciding what to go as this year. And um, I, my sister suggested, oh, how do you, oh, you can buy a stripy top from somewhere and go as Freddy Krueger. I'm like, cool, okay, yeah. So I watched Nightmare on Elm Street, I think, last week. And... Oh my god, I absolutely loved it, and I don't know how I hadn't seen it before, but it was just so good. I just loved it. So yeah, I'm looking forward to dressing up as Freddy Krueger this year. Um, as for my other costume, uh, I am gonna be like I'm gonna be zombified. 
what kind of zombie. I'm, I've only let a few people know that, so I will share pictures when I get back. But yes, that is my Halloween weekend, and I am so, so excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much me this for this week, uh, because, well, not really, because it's Halloween, and I thought I'd do a special, but I thought I was going to be dressed up. I thought I was going to have my glove, but sorry to disappoint there. But yeah, so that's me for this week. And I'm going to start doing as from today. I'm going to start doing Song of the Week, Song of the Week, where I will play a song at the end of this video by the band I think really sort of got, or the song that I really think actually, yes. Uh, this one comes from Hell Puppets. Uh, it's called From Hell. I've, you know, ever since listening to their latest album, their debut album, Theatre of Sin, a week ago, I'm absolutely hooked. Their sound is amazing. Imagine sec. Imagine the sort the the uh, abominable spawn of um, Sex Pistols and White Zombie, and you get the Hell Puppets. So a pretty good sound. Uh, so this song is called From Hell. It's the first. It's the second track on their latest album. Uh, it's a really catchy song. It's been swimming around. I've listened to I've listened to it quite a few times. I've got to listen to it at least once a day now because it's that good, and it will just swim around your head for ages. And this line, Jackie, Jackie, never got caught, will be the words on your lips. So, here it is: the Hell Puppets from Hell. <laughs> Shiny tools of mine Those slutty whores will fill my brain in London town 